This is a quick tutorial about Scribus and while it loads here, talk about it a little bit. It's um, free open source desktop publishing software. Uh, the first screen here, as you can see, you can do all kinds of different things. Um, I just hit OK. And I'm just going to show you, show you um, some neat little things I've learned so far to get started. Um, so here's our, here's our page. Um, click the image box and then draw a big box. We're going to import an image. Once you have your box, right click on the box and go to get image. And that's the image I want. And as you'll see, uh, the image when it shows, there it is, uh, it doesn't, it's not scaled to frame yet. So to correct that issue, um, let's go ahead and right click and go down all the way down to properties, click on that, and then once you see this, click on image and then scale to frame. And there it is. And if you want to make the picture bigger, just do that. Now the picture is bigger and you can move the picture around inside the document just like that. I'm going to move it down a little bit and now let's add some text. So click on the text box and I kind of like to do it the way they do it in the beginning of a chapter of a book um, just for fun. I like to make the first letter bigger. Um, so make your box, double click inside of it and then we can come up to style, size, 72 point. I'm going to make a capital T and then click on the, the A again for text and let's draw a box just like this. Double click inside of it then go to style. It, it always defaults back to 12 points. We're going to go to 14 point and I'm going to put this um, and you can see the font. If you can't see the font you need to make the box bigger. See if I bring it up like that I could type but I won't be able to see the font. So make sure the box is plenty big. Um, this picture um, this is a picture of my local courthouse and I took my digital camera this and I'm gonna stop right there and do a new do a new image uh, I'm sorry a new text and bring it right underneath here you can actually grab this if you if you want to and bring it down a little bit so it matches with the bottom of the T and then click text again we're gonna start about right here and we'll go to here double click inside of it style make sure your points your font your font size is right we're gonna go to 14 point we'll say um, this courthouse is a local monument that had that was initially um, built and completed. I'm going to make some facts up here in 1913. The courthouse has survived the Great Depression and also the time period in our local history when Terre Haute, Indiana was referred to as Sin City. The second fact I didn't make up. Alright, so we've just done that real quick and easy. Um, let's save it, go to File, just click Save. It's asking you how you want to save it. I'm just going to go ahead and just click Save. And now to make a PDF, you go to File and Export. <clears throat> We're going to save it as a PDF. And that's when you'll get this box right here. And up here you can change it on the destination of where you want it to be. So I'm going to rename it a little bit here. 
just put courthouse demo and I know I know exactly where it's gonna be I'm gonna hit save and now it's, it's converting it to a PDF file and now that's done let's go take a look at it here we go courthouse demo PDF And as you can see, we have a a neat little uh, PDF. It's got a picture, some words. Um, there's a lot more to this program, and I'm still I'm still learning. Uh, but if you get a chance to check out Scribus, it is free. It's open source. And thank you for watching my video.